hope everyone is having a good day. Um, this is a video specifically for my brother. But if anybody want to go and, you know, of course, copy the tutorial, you can. I mean, this is basically for everyone, but I specifically made this video for my brother. Hold on. Okay, I just heard something. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, I'm making this video for my brother because I think like two or three weeks ago, he sent me, no, that's a lie, two weeks ago, as a matter of fact, he sent me a picture of his meatloaf. Um, I guess he's learning how to, how can I say this, learning how to, how to cook or something. So anyway, I mean, maybe it did taste good. I'm not trying to judge anyone, but it looked at her. <laughs> so that's why I'm making this video for him now. I'm, you know, everybody makes their meatloaf differently. I got many ways of making meatloaf, but I try to do this meatloaf in a way that I think my brother could understand or maybe with stuff that he has in his house and it'll still come out very good and very flavorful comparing to the one that he showed me when he sent me a text message showing me that he made meatloaf and he was really proud of it too he called that a masterpiece i don't know about that but anyway that's why I'm making this video. I do have another video on meatloaf and I made it that day with mashed potatoes and da 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 da. Just scroll to, through my channel and you'll see that recipe there. It's slightly a little different, okay? So let's get started. Well, for my brother Joshua or anyone who's watching this video, you'll need ground, um, ground meat. And you could also use this with, like, let's say, um, with chicken or turkey. It's totally up to you. But I'm using ground beef. That's my preference. And I think that's my brother's preference, too. I have two of them because I'm making two of them because my family is coming over from New York. So I'm cooking a lot today. Um, I'm not going to make a video of all the food that I'm making. I'm only going to make this video for my brother. So, and you need some bread. Like, it, whatever bread you have, okay, in your house. It don't make a difference which one it is. Italian bread, French bread, white bread, wheat bread, whichever bread that you have. Make sure it's like at least a day old, but if it's not, that's okay. If you got fresh bread, you know, whatever. And make sure that you cut them into cubes, all right? This cup, yeah, let me not even give measurements. Just watch what I'm doing. So we have here um, the bread. I have here ketchup. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so you gotta add ketchup. I'll show you what I mean by ketchup. I have here honey mustard barbecue sauce, but you could use any barbecue sauce you have in your house. Okay, so ketchup, must, um, ketchup, and and barbecue sauce. You could combine these two together, or you can make it separately. That's what I'm gonna do. Since I got two ground um, ground meat in the back, and I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna make one barbecue and one ketchup. But if you wanna mix them both up together and do it like that, that's fine too. I got here parsley flakes, and you don't have to add this because, you know, but you, parsley flakes, and I got here salad olives. Now, these are the ones that are, are like this, and the reason why I'm really showing it to you is because my brother, his meatloaf had like a zillion olives. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you don't get mad at me for me saying that he had a lot of olives. I was like, what is that? Olives or meatloaf ground beef? <laughs> I don't know what it was. But I was telling him, you don't need to add so much olives, you know? And I think he had the whole olives. I don't know if it's the one with the piss or, or maybe he had the one that is whole but without the piss. But I think 
meatloaf works better with salad olives is already cut up it got those little red thingies so Joshua check it out and you don't have to buy Goya you can buy the cheap one don't worry about it you know how we do <laughs> and I got here adobo and it is it has without the pepper but if you have the pepper you don't have to add pepper but this one says adobo without pepper so that's why I'm gonna add pepper which is white pepper. If I had this with pepper, I would not be adding this because it already got pepper in it. But, and I got here onion powder. All right. I got here two packs of Sazon. And I'm sure you got this in your house. So, you need to. Because I'm, I, I like to add one pack for each ground beef. Like I said, I got two packs there. I got here onions. Even though we gotta, we're gonna add onion powder, I'm still gonna add fresh onions. I'm not gonna add all this onions. I just cut, chopped up a lot of them. And I got here red pepper and green pepper, all right? I already cut them up and I mixed them up together. And this is fresh garlic that I did myself. But if you don't have fresh garlic or you don't have any kind of garlic, just use powder garlic. Or if you got the garlic that you buy in the store in the jar, you could use that, I'm just saying. Considering that, you know, it's for my brother, I will really tell my brother use fresh garlic, but whatever you have in your house. And you need milk, all right? So now that you know, and I showed you carefully everything that you need, let me show you how to make simple and delicious meat loaf. Okay, Joshua, first you want, with this cup, this is what you gotta do first. With your bread, after you finish cutting them up, I think it's better that you add diced bread to your meatloaf because it makes your meatloaf nice and soft. All right, so with this, I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. And I know you like milk, trust me, just follow directions. And I'm gonna add a little bit. I'm not gonna fill it up to the top, maybe halfway, let's see. Okay, there you go. Now, if you see the bread, I didn't fill it up all the way to the top. All right, what I'm gonna do is get a spoon, hold on. All right, and I'm gonna try to soak in all the bread. sit until you finish um until we finish doing the meatloaf i'm going to show you right now so push this aside and i'm going to show you what to do next okay so we got the ground beef i got one pan here and another pan here um so everything i'm going to add i'm going to add to both but pay attention to this one okay so i'm going to first start off with the sazon and i got two packets you only got to use one since you're only making it for yourself so, let's just add one. All right, so we're gonna add garlic. I made my garlic from scratch, which is easy, but you can use whatever garlic. If you don't got garlic, garlic powder. use the onion powder so let's sprinkle some of that and I'm gonna use my adobo and I know you have adobo in your house you probably don't got this brand you probably got the Goya but I'm sure you have it in your house We're going to put some parsley. I'm going to take the top out because it's giving me problems. We're going to add this now, okay? And this is how much I add, not like the way I saw you adding. But 
maybe like two spoons. You don't want too much, you understand? But if you like a lot of olives, like, go ahead. <laughs> but it doesn't look pretty, I tell you that much, when you put too much olives. And these are better. You see, it got those little red thingies. Add the white pepper, but if your adobo says it has pepper already, you don't have to add this. Don't add so much stuff to your meatloaf. Just a little. Now I'm going to add onions. And two more things. Red and green peppers. And I don't put a lot of this either, you know? And now we're gonna add the bread. I don't know if I'm gonna add all of this, but I'm gonna add the bread. You wanna soak it up a little bit and then throw it in there. You don't wanna add too much of the milk either. Mm, I think that's good. I'm going to add more on the other one. I'll probably add a little bit more. See, I still got some left over. This I'll throw away. You don't want to add too much bread. Let me see if I think it needs more. I'm going to mix it up and then I'll see if it needs more. But these are the simple ingredients that you need. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to do this right in front of y'all. So my hands are clean, and I'm going to push this aside because I'm just going to work with this one real quick so I can show my brother. I'm sure he knows how to do this one, but... And that's a meatloaf. I'm gonna do the other one. And then I'm gonna show you what to do next, which is the last thing to do. Okay, Joshua, you see? I did two. Now this is what I wanna show you. All right. I got, um, okay, I'm turning it wrong. <laughs> um, barbecue sauce. Honey mustard. This is honey mustard. You could use any one you want, whichever one you have in your house. If you do use the honey mustard, it's much better. It gives it like a nice, sweeter taste. Or you could use some nice, cheap, <laughs> nice, cheap ketchup. Okay, or whichever ketchup you have in your house. So I'm going to put ketchup on this one and barbecue sauce on that one. Now, you could like mix these two together in a bowl and just put both of them at the same time. All right, but I'm gonna do one one way and one the other way. So let me add the ketchup first. Now I'm gonna add the barbecue one. And I'm sorry, but I have to use my hands. I mean, sometimes, you know, kitchen tools just don't work with me. <laughs> like, as long as my house is, I mean, my house, my, as long as my hands is clean, I could, you know, I'm right by the sink. Yeah, I see my videos all the time. And I don't know if sometimes you hear it, but sometimes you hear running water constantly. It's because I constantly wash my hands. I, I don't even like to have my hands dirty when I'm cleaning. It's just 
a no-no, but just to let everybody know, I'm going to start mixing with my hands. Okay, so we have the ketchup one. And we have the barbecue one. I don't know if I had a choice, I would choose the barbecue one. But it's up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave. Well, I usually cook mine for like, hmm, it depends because everybody's oven is different. Well, since you already made meatloaf, you know how long it takes to make your meatloaf. So I usually will do mine like maybe an hour and 20 minutes, you know, depending on, like I said, your oven. My oven is a little, you know, crazy, but an hour and 20 minutes. But what I would do is halfway through the cooking process, I add more ketchup. All right. So this is going to cook with the ketchup on and then halfway through the cooking process, I add more ketchup and then voila, it's done. All right. You want to do this, please try it with the ketchup or with the barbecue sauce. Because when it comes out of the oven, all the juice from the meatloaf and the ketchup, trust me, you're going to have a nice, moist, beautiful meatloaf. So, when this is done, I'll show you how it looks, hopefully. Because I'm doing a hundred other things for, you know, because my family is coming over today. So... Let's hope I get to show you this. If not, maybe a slideshow or picture, okay? So, we'll be back. Okay, I know nobody likes when I put music in the background when I am making a video, but it is Labor Day and I want to hear music. <laughs> so, um, I already did this halfway. Wait, hold on. My camera is fogging up because of the rice. Okay, whew, it's hot in this kitchen, I tell you. It's been cooked halfway, so I'm going to add more ketchup. Okay, so I added ketchup. I'm going to put it in the oven for maybe another 30 minutes. And I'm going to do the same thing with the barbecue, okay? Okay, so this is the meatloaf. I want to make this quick because I don't want the music to interfere with the video. Um, I'm just hearing music because it's Labor Day, my family's coming over, and I needed to hear music to continue cooking. So, let me cut this short. This is the meatloaf, Joshua. Just cut it into slices, and you serve this up. I'll take a picture anyway. And the barbecue one is on the side, and it's cooling down, and it looks very good, too. All right, bye. And this is the barbecue one. I tasted both of them. The ketchup tastes good still, but the barbecue one, I'm sorry, I gotta get another piece. Mm. Oh my god. Mm, my goodness. Sorry, guys. After all, I don't think I'm going to be, I'm not going to eat it. Everybody gets here. Because I'm the one that got to serve everyone. I'm not going to be able to sit down and eat. So I'm just picking up all the food until they leave. And then I'll eat my food when I finish cleaning and everything. That's just the way it always is. But the barbecue one, mm -mm -mm. this is it right here. The ketchup one tastes good. If you just, But if you want to make it a little extra, the barbecue sauce, I'm telling you. I hope and everybody enjoys this video. This video was for my brother. I hope he could do it either way. Bro, I think you should do it with the BBQ sauce. But you could do it with the ketchup. It's all good. All right, bye.